Hey guys, what's up? This is Mike from TechniqueTV.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to delve in to the Windows command line. Now there's actually quite a bit of things that you can do with the Windows command line, so I'm only going to go over a few today. Uh, yeah, I'll be showing you the most widely used ones. They're not too complicated either. So to start, we'll open your start menu and go to all programs click accessories and then click command prompt. Now your command prompt will pop open and you'll see the blinking white cursor and that's preceded by the directory path that the command line is currently in. As you can see it is C colon slash user slash mic. So let's say that we want to see what is in my home folder. We'll type in dir and press enter. That prints out the contents of the directory that we're currently in to the command line. So you can see we have a folder labeled saved games. You'll know because it says directory there. Sorry about that guys. Hold on a second. <laughs> this is actually Eric with Technique TV also. Hold on man, I'm recording a video. Say hi. <laughs> okay. Give me a few minutes. Alright guys, sorry about that. So, okay, where was I? I was, okay, I was showing you how to get the contents of a folder. Now let's say we want to print the contents of the folder into a text file. Now this little bit of magic is done using the right arrow. So we'll type in dir, type a space, press the right arrow key, press another space, and we'll name this file contents.txt. Press enter, and now if we type dir again, we'll see that a full, a, rather a file named contents.txt has been printed. Now if we want to open that file, we can type in notepad, type a space, type in contents.txt, and press enter. And as you can see, it's almost the exact same information as what is in the command line. So that's a little neat trick. Now let's say we want to change directories to a different folder in the command line. Let's, we'll change directories into the searches directory. So we'll type in CD, which stands for change directory, and type in searches. Now you can see that our prompt, preceding the blinking cursor once again, has changed to C colon slash user slash mic slash searches. Now I'm almost positive there's nothing in this folder, but we can see anyway using the dir command. And yes, there's nothing in here. So now I'll show you a command. Well, actually, first, I will show you how to go back to the last folder you were just in. You want to type in CD and type two periods and then press enter. And that will drop you back to the last directory you were in. So the command I'm going to show you now is called echo. And what it does is it prints text onto your command line, or rather into your command line. So we'll type in echo space. Hey guys, this is Mike from TechniqueTV.com. Subscribe to us. And the, oops, subscribe. Sorry about that. You'll see, hey guys, this is Mike from TechniqueTV.com. Subscribe to us. Now there's a neat trick you can do with Echo, which is to put the contents of the Echo command into a text file. It's kind of like what we did with the directory command. So we'll type in Echo. Hey guys, showing off this neat trick. And then you'll type a space type the right arrow, type another space, and we'll just we'll label this file 
echo test.txt. Press enter. Now press direct type in directory. And you can see the content the echo test.txt file has been created. We'll open that with notepad using notepad space echo test.txt. Press enter. And you'll see the notepad window pops up. Hey guys, showing off this neat trick I learned. So that's it for our command line lesson today. I hope you found some new tricks <laughs> for Windows and stay tuned and I'll show you some more things you can do with the command line later. See ya!